Welcome back guys. On today's tutorial is going to be over structure logging. This is going to be over Siri log this time, not in log or log for net. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, first off, let me go to your documentation. I told you last time that we have a couple things that we do that's a little different in configuration for Siri log. And that is we need to bring in a couple of things, right? We need to bring in this class, this thread ID enricher. This will allow us to enrich our logs, um, pun there. But another thing that you do is actually chain this as well in order to use it. Um, it's basically the same thing that we usually do for syncs or Siri logs anyway. So let's go ahead and go to our application. And right here, this is basic web application, uh, .NET for framework actually. And a couple of things here. We got our thread ID and Richard that we already brought in. Two, we got our logging object that we'll be using later on. And we also have our logs that we are setting in um, the home controller. Wherever you do this, it's, it's definitely your choice. But I'm doing a basic, simple application where we have everything in one place. Probably not what you want to do, but this, this is just tutorial, guys. Um, let's go ahead and get to it here. We already have chained in enrich with properties, version, and the version number. And that's one of it. The second one is I have is a log two um, log configuration, which I've actually passed in a few information here, right? We have enrich with properties. We have inline where we're creating our structure log for client information here, straight into the the with property method. Um, we can also pass in a collection as well as an array of ints, and also a dictionary as well. Um, on another side, what we can do is actually pass in within the log message itself by using structure module and we replace holder with log objects right here. Um, let's go ahead and save this and then when you save it, redeploy it, run it, um, go to retrace into your application. It's going to be Siri Tutorial Advance. That's what my application is called anyway. Um, let's go to logs and then let's go to the last hour, right? You'll see there's mainly two logs ish. I mean, we have information warning error fatal. Um, that is going to be for the regular logs that we had earlier. We'll see right here, and it's going to be top ones. This is going to be for the log first one. Um, and you can see, you can see the versions and the version number within all these. The second one is this structured logging, right? So we have inline, we have an array, and we have the object itself. And what we see is we have all this information being passed. I feel like that's not the right one. Let me go to the more recent one here. Uh, thank you for being patient, guys. Here we go. Structured logging, logging objects. And when we click in here, it has more information than the previous. Here are log objects that we are passing in. We have our inline that we created. We have an array and dictionary we're passing as well. Um, you'll see both information as in the rich and also when we're passing in the object and using placeholder when we are sending them the message, that logging object right here. Um, that's basically it, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait one second here. Let me want to show you is this blog that we have. This is a structured log and what developer needs it. It is an older article, but it actually has a very, very good information here. Um, do check that out on our blogs. But other than that, you guys have a good one.